Hi everyone, my name is Cody Puckett, and today I'm going to talk to you about my senior capstone project. Now, unfortunately, with the turn of events that have you know led up to this point, I have not been able to um, finish my capstone with the original intent or the plan that I had um, started out with thinking that how I wanted to plan my capstone project. Okay, so it's a little bit different, but. I will give you details about how I went about this and whatnot with my professor and with um, the, the um, practicum experience that I'm doing my um, student teaching in a sense slash internship at. Okay, so to first start it, um, my capstone project is that I am a liberal arts major and I have concentrations in music education and psychology, but I've also had a lot of experiences as an elementary, um, secondary, uh, ESOL, and um, deaf education as well with the, some of those coursework kind of classes, okay? Um, one day I would like to either become a music ed or a deaf ed teacher for the deaf, one of those two ven venues. Um, so we'll see, hopefully we can find work soon. It's kind of, you know, still a little skeptical right now with this current pandemic, but hopefully soon. Um, like how I said, with this capstone project, I was, my intent, my original intent was to teach a song for the band classroom that I'm with right now, and to also teach something with the jazz band with the same school, but just a different section of band, okay? So I'm currently uh, attending Flagler College. I'll graduate this in Saturday, May May, 1st, May 2nd, and um, I had the great pleasure of working with a teacher at Gamble Rogers Middle School, a band teacher. She is phenomenal, and I love her dearly. And we were both came up with a plan that I was going to be able to teach the concert and symphonic band and jazz band for their final like concert for the parents and whatnot. So that's kind of like how I came about of this whole um, capstone idea, capstone work and whatnot. So I was able to reach out and we were able to work out something together for my um, for my classes that I needed and for her to, you know, be able to work on with anything that she needed to work on with me and with her students as well. So the first song I'm going to talk to you guys about are just uh, the two songs that I chose. One is for jazz band, one is for concert and symphonic band. Now, the song that I chose was Over the Rainbow for Concert and Symphonic Band, and then the jazz song we're going to talk about in a moment is called Where Did We Go From Here? And we're going to hear both of those songs. I'm going to conduct um, the first one, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and then the second one, the jazz one. I'll let you guys listen to it. I might give some cues and whatnot while I'm conducting, but it'll just be very minor, um, not as traditional as a band uh, teacher being up in front, okay, with jazz band. So to give you some like fundamental um, groundwork for this song, it is currently in a 4-4 time signature and it stays like that for the entire song. It's in the key of B flat, it does not change any keys. Um, some things that I would want to work on with the students with this song is phrasing and dynamics. Um, uh, one thing that they've um, that th that the teacher has been like drilling in the students' heads and whatnot, and and during practices is that um, we don't need to breathe during the bar lines. We need to breathe like either before bar line or after a bar line happens. Another thing that I would want to work on with this song is I would want to work on the different sections of the song. As you'll hear in this song, um, you're going to hear different sections playing, and I want the students to know. Oh, like for an example, like the trumpets have a melody line at measure 19. I want them to know who takes the melody line after they're done with their musical phrase. Who takes the baton and who, who you know, who has the melody line, okay? Um, I would want to remind the students and ask the students, um, like with that melody, like do we play just like a very small dynamic marking or should we play nice and loud? I would want them, you know, ask questions like that. Um, it, it is not a difficult song to read. It's also um, not too difficult with some of the rhythms as well. So it's a very, you know, a foundational song that both of these band ensembles would be able to, you know, feel very um, confident in playing with. And so that's why another reason why I chose this song, because we would have had about a month's time work to work on this song for the upcoming concert that would have been this Thursday, uh, April 30th. Um, and also just as a musical individual, like you can do a lot of things with um, with like songs that are maybe not as challenging, which are pretty cool. And so now I'm going to conduct 
I have a recording of it and I'm going to conduct it um, as if it was for the concert or as, as if I was, you know, working with the students in rehearsal, okay? So this is a recording I found from YouTube, and I will send you the link to the song so you're able to listen to it, um, you know, not in this video as well, so you can hear it again. Okay, so moving on. Oh, well, actually, before I move on, I want to mention that with the song, there's a lot of um, other arrangements of the song. So I would have the students also listen to other arrangements to the song, and I would want them to even listen to arrangements um, that maybe like an orchestra has played and I would want them to compare and do something with um, the orchestra instrumentations and whatnot of this song as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on and I'm, get, I'm look, going to go now to um, find you the song for the jazz song recording. Okay, um, so this is the actual recording that I have from um, yeah. Where do we go? This is the recording that I used for their method book that's with their method book. So my teacher for this jazz ensemble has allowed me and given me, um, given me another director's score book for their jazz ensemble method book. And so I've been able to like follow along and find different recommendations for um, how to teach this song. So it's been super great. Um, I will say before I give you a little preface about the song, before I play you the song, um, that it is in a jazz waltz, so it's a nice good 3-4. It's very upbeat and very fast, and it does deal with um, the Doran scale. I know they don't really like that, but <laughs> it was good practice for them, especially for um, learning a new different type of scale. So um, in the beginning, there are different activities for us to practice, and I've used majority, I've used a good portion of these uh, activities so they can really hanker down the rhythms before we would, um, before we started digging deeper into the song, okay? So right now I will play you the song, Where Did We Go From Here? From here, Improvisation Study A. One, two, three, one, oh. two, three. This is the improv to page thirty seven. Where do we go from here?
So this is a solo section. Of the song. Now, the original plan was that I was going to write instrument solos for different instrument groups, okay? So this is the song that I chose for jazz band. Uh, like I said, the students had a hard time with this song because it was a faster, upbeat song, but it was also in 3-4. So they've never really played with any um, uh, any type of jazz waltz music before. And prior, before I made this decision to choose a song, I uh, worked with the teacher to kind of help guide me and help uh, pick a song that she liked as well that would be somewhat challenging and also something that would be different for what they would normally play. So um, I don't know if you were able to hear me, but I there's one point where it got really soft in the song and it only had like the drums and uh, the piano playing, the rhythm section. So that is actually where the instruments solos would have been. And I've written solos for um, the students that were interested in wanting to try out. I, was, I wrote in parts so they had something to do. And it was originally planned uh, in, the, in the score that it's um, all improv. And I mean, that's, that's wonderful. But I think at a, uh, maybe at a middle school level for a jazz band, maybe not make it so free form so i had the students instead of i told them that i was going to help um, write a part and if they came up with a different part then that is totally fine so that was something that i expected them to come up with those who wanted to audition though um, to write their own instrument solo part for this um solo section okay and again um we had some tr tricky rhythms the one ba 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 now the brass parts, those are kind of where the brass section had the most tricky parts in. And for this, uh, the saxophones, um, there was they didn't really have too many note uh, issues, just a few notes here and there. And then the rhythm section was doing just fine with a nice three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So again, this is my senior capstone project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just a little bit more explanation and in depth of what and why and the rationales to me leading up to this point. So again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you guys and hope you all continue to stay safe and healthy during this time. Thank you.